Well, hello everybody, and welcome back to Tokyo Xanadu EX. In the last episode, Asuka got captured by a giant hand, and they're trying to say it was so tough when it was very easy. We also have blue hair Asuka with his mouth. Actually, just pause. Uh, it, what was her name? Mitsuki? But I call her blue haired Asuka because she kind of looks like her and, uh, kind of runs like her too. Anyway, uh, I was talking about not buying things yesterday, be yesterday, I mean last episode, because, um, you never know if something's gonna cost a whole lot of yen. Anyway, you're gonna flip out? Ah, it's my darling! It's the perfect timing! Wait, why is my darling together with a boy? Hey, this is just wrong! Switch places with me right now! J just calm down. Oh, you're... Nodica, right? I'm sorry, but we're in a bit of a hurry today. If you need something, I'll be sure to set aside time for you another day. My lady, you would do that? That's fine. I'm looking forward to seeing you. Oof. Damn, this is impressive fog. There's probably no point in going to club today. I heard that Moromiya City Marathon is next Sunday, though. I wonder if they'll actually hold it. I'm kind of anxious. Hmm. Damn it, I rode my bicycle today. Guess I'm pushing it home in this fog. No, wait, I was kidding. It's a motorcycle. Uh, do we go ride a bicycle to school? Wouldn't. <laughs> but he got here on one, though. Trying to get in her date? Hmm, I thought she wasn't too badly hurt. I'm worried that the fog is making students ill. Well, thanks to you, she should be alright in the end. Her fever's down, so she just needs to rest. You're quite the inspiration, Mr. Tanami. You always put your heart into everything. <laughs> I'm just doing what a teacher should. So has the poor thing gotten sicker, or is it just you? Uh oh, I think my brain broke. Looks like you overdid it studying. You should take it easy in the afternoon and nap or something. No way! The first class after lunch is Mr. Goro's. Failure there is not an option. Oh, it's this crazy chick. Hey, you doing alright? <laughs> it seems I got sick from the fog. I was trying to be careful too. I hate how weak I am. Ah, uh, don't worry, Fuka. You'll be alright. Poor thing. I know what it's like to be sick. I can't believe I ran into them there. I couldn't give a comeback. I couldn't say anything. I'm still that weak guy I was back in middle school. Hm. Someone told me that Oscar didn't come to school. She seemed a little off lately, but... Oh jeez, I hope she's not sick or anything. Yeah, I doubted you would have had, like, a recipe there or something. I'm worried about the fog, but summer's almost here. We need to focus on the preparations. I don't like that in Japan you go to school during the summer. Once vacation starts, the Nationals will go underway. We have Sora this year, so we're gonna pretty much guaranteed to make finals. But I'm sure other schools will be a challenge, too. Hmm. Oh, Ko and Hokuto? <laughs> that's an odd combination. Uh, um, well... <laughs> He's just accompanying me on a personal errand. What brings you two here? We were just discussing the fog. I've heard that the bad visibility has been causing traffic accidents left and right. I see Dr. Pepper. Yo, wait, I see Dr. Pepper back there. There's Dr. Pepper! And is that Sprite? Dr. Pepper! I... What? Why am I... Is it actually Dr. Pepper? I don't think it's even changed. I need to get a closer look at that after this event. We're debating whether to, to cancel all club activities for today and just have students go home early. You were just about to run it by the faculty committee. <sighs> ah, that makes sense. It seems like a good idea. Ko, be sure to go straight home today, okay? You're not working any shifts, right? Uh, no. I 
guess we shouldn't tell them that we're skipping out early. Correct. The plan is to inform them that to inform them after we've left the campus. We want to avoid any unnecessary attention. It's best to just leave quietly. Is that really just Dr. Pepper? It's Dr. Pepper. <laughs> Dr. Pepper. Dude, awesome. Dr. Pepper. Alright. So, we're supposed to go to Brick Alley first. But I want to go everywhere else to check things out. The, the fog is a lot more heavier. Since the fog is so thick today, I was told I didn't have to stand outside the store as a greeter. This is the first I've ever been outside. This this is the first I've ever been inside. Wait, out outside in fog, so thick that it soaked through all my clothes. Hmm. Oh, the boy's not here today. You didn't get to come here and play Trails of Cold Steel. Well, let's play some Trails. Oh yeah, go Valamir, kick some butt. Alright. Eh, uh, nothing to mess with. But... Uh, it doesn't look like there's anything I can do for her at the moment. So really nothing to do for her. I don't really need to go to the other shop then. I will visit the antique store. Not many people out today. Of course. It's so foggy, why would anyone be standing around? I thought those fog rumors would lead me to that girl again. <sighs> so much for that plan. But I'm not giving up yet. I need to stay mobile and keep my ear to the ground. Right. Oh, Ko! Um, thank you so much for before. It's okay. I'm just glad that you're alright. I know they let you come home from the hospital, but are you sure you're alright? I keep trying to tell her, but she refuses to listen to me. Mayu, you really need to get some more rest. But, I just can't. It's my fault that Asuka is... Until she's back safe and sound, I have to keep... You idiot! How is it your fault? That girl fell in the hands of a greed because of her own overconfidence. But she doesn't strike me as one to go down so easily. Mayu, do you honestly think that girl is done for? No. Asuka would never give up that easily. I'm sure she'll come back safe and sound soon. Then you better rest up while you can, got it? And you guys, go find that fool girl for me, okay? Mule and newbie or not, I owe her some thanks. You can count on us. Let's go and track her down. Wow, yeah, really, there's nothing to get here. So. Anything in here? Doubt it. Hey, Ko! Hmm, you okay, Mr. Yanagi? You seem kinda out of it. Well, I was at the city gym running an errand when something happened. A woman tripped and fell in Brick Alley. She scraped her knee pretty bad, so I helped her. <laughs> I wonder if she's okay. That's all I was thinking about. Uh-huh. Wow, the fog sure is bad today. There have been more traffic accidents, so you should be careful. Still nothing good from you, buddy. Never sh not really sure what I ever expect from that guy. ここは時坂君のおじいさまの神社ですね。ええ。て、なんで仲間まで知ってるんすか。なんと言っても生徒会長ですから。This <笑> Sorry for the gulps if you heard them. Probably did. Sorry. Man, the fog is very thick here too. A bunch of people said they saw strange monsters working around here. It's definitely something we should look into while we're here. 
We need to find out where Hiragi is first. Let's swing by the cafe in the antique shop. Well, in that case... Is it this guy again? I recognize this car. Jeez, I don't want to see this dude. I just don't trust his... どうもす。って、三月君に。ふん。京花君から話は聞いているよ。どうやら早速初めているみたいだね。はい。そちらも同じ件で。ああ。こちらはあくまで執行中のみとしてだが、関係各社や観光庁を回りつつ市内の監視
Oh, it's you. Oh, and the Hokuto Princess, too. Class is still in session, so I'm assuming you've pulled a string or two to be here without consequence. <laughs> Perhaps. How in the hell did you figure all this out just by us showing up? I'm, I know you know Hideki and Itsuki, but... Yes, she is one of the most valuable informants of the underground. Yes and no. I'm not beholden to Nemesis, Zodiac, or any of the others. I just provide a service that happens to be in high demand. In that respect, the antique store and referring you to jobs are pretty much one and the same. Um, what in the hell does that even mean? Whatever. So you already know why we're here then. Our mission. The missing nemesis girl, right? More accurately, you want info on the monster that was chasing her through the fog. Sound about right? That's exactly right. So do you have any information that might help us? Yes, about the monster. There have been eyewitnesses accounts filtering in ever since the fog rolled in. But starting last night, the tone of the accounts became a bit more ominous as the fog got thicker. It's different from what others have been saying up until now. It's not the shadowy hand that appeared when Hiroki disappeared. It doesn't look like you've learned anything, useful or otherwise. If you put everything together, you've learned that you encountered a greed called the Black Hound. Oddly, it's something that you'd find in the fairy tales of Great Britain or Europe. Black Hound. I see. The fact remains that the hand is a different monster that appears in the fog. But it's very likely that they're both kin. Also, it's likely that an extremely powerful grim greed is working about. Ah, crap. We need to find and rescue Hiragi now more than ever. Indeed. You'd better get moving. Huh? The Enforcer is a regular customer of mine. She's always so serious and dour, which makes teasing her that much more fun. But if you manage to rescue her, I won't take my normal fee from your pay this time around. You can help. Oh, hell.
輝けミスティックノード